Over the past three years, I've tried to share my best tips and tricks, or some would call them goalie hacks, with the goalie community. In this year's version, I want to give you my five best hacks that I've learned that will help you become a better goaltender, a better athlete, and hopefully a better person as well. This video is sponsored by Sheath Underwear. Let's begin. At the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. So my five best goalie hacks are going to start off with the absolute foundation of goaltending, which is how to move properly. Now, I've covered this before in previous goalie hacks videos, but there are truly only a few ways to move around. The shuffle, the T-push, butterfly slide, backside push, and a couple of new additions would be hinging, bumping, and a controversial final one, diving. There really is no other ways for you to move around the crease, so you have to get good at these. And well, how do you do that? Now the answer is boring, but practice. You have to put the time in. Look at this clip right here in January of 2020, trying to do an RVH hinge, where I basically grip the ice with the back of my heel and pull myself flat with the goal line, as opposed to here in fall 22, I'm doing the exact same thing, significantly smoother, and all I did was put some time in and get better and practice at it, day in and day out. If you put the time in, you will get better. It is physically impossible not to, as long as you are patient, and that will come with time. Next up, get the most out of your gear. Whether you're starting out as a goalie at Pee Wee or you play pro like me, you want to get the most out of your gear. Airing it out properly after a skate will help make it last a little bit longer. I also try to wash my washables, including my Bower Connect skate inserts, after every single skate. This includes headbands, socks, underlayers. I also recommend probably once a year throwing your chest protector, helmet, pants, and or gloves into a tub with some hot water, let it soak overnight, and let the bacteria run out as you see here. I would say put some soap in for the chest protector and pants, maybe avoid with the helmet and the gloves, but I think this really helps extend the longevity of your gear. Also keep it a little bit cleaner and get rid of the bacteria. Next up at number three, how to get places in hockey. Well, be a good teammate. Sitting on the bench sucks, and I'll be honest, I've done it most of my career, but showing up to the rink with a good attitude, accepting that you need to get better to get back into the net, and not wishing your goalie partner chokes on a bag of dicks and dies. Yes, trust me, it's ideal and we all think it, but you control making yourself better, you need to focus on that. Picking up pucks after practice, filling water bottles, endearing yourself to your teammates and coaches in a way that they will appreciate will get you the results because your teammates will want to play for you and your coaching staff will want to give you an opportunity. It's not going to guarantee you playing time, but it definitely won't hurt. Number four, how about traveling? Well, whether you're traveling 20 minutes to your local rink for practice, traveling across the world on a plane or train to report for the start of the season, or going on a 12-hour road trip for weekend series like me in the FPHL, double check the night before and make sure you have all your gear. This year in Motor City, we went on an overnight road trip to Watertown, New York, and our equipment staff forgot my knee pads, and thank God when we arrived, the other team was nice enough to give me a set of theirs, but if I had checked the night before, I would have realized that our equipment staff forgot my gear, so taking the responsibility on yourself to solve your own problems. Also, I'm a minimalist, so I take exactly what I need and nothing more. There's no sense lugging around 10 pounds of pox, shampoo, and other junk in your bag if you don't need it, especially because when you're carrying your bag, it's going to be adding strain on your back, assuming that you carry your bag and you don't have a wheelie bag, because if your bag has wheels, you probably don't. Actually, no, I guarantee you don't. Also because when you're traveling, the airlines will ding you and charge you for overweight bags. Literally, 51 pounds versus 50 pound baggage is going to be a 50 to $100 charge, depending on the airline and depending on where you're traveling to. I've traveled all the way around the world for hockey, so if you want to learn more about flying and traveling tips, you can check out that link in the video description for that video right here, as well as every place that I've traveled to for hockey. Now, next, and I think the most important thing that I've learned in my career is adaptability. Moving 6,000 kilometers across the world to play in Europe for the first time, embrace it. Going to play for a team as the backup goalie, embrace it. You hate the living setup that your team has put you in? Great, embrace it because you cannot change it, but you can change how you look at things and your perspective and how blessed you are to be doing what you're doing. Yes, I do these YouTube videos and my podcast, Sling the Biscuit, in addition to playing professional hockey to round out my full-time income, but this is 10,000 times better than working any day job, working construction, selling cars, or for the government. I try my best to remind myself every day that I'm beyond blessed. Sometimes some days are significantly harder than others, but if you resist it, it's only going to make your life harder once you're on the ice and your performance will show that. So realize you are truly blessed and try to make the most and embrace challenges. Which brings me to my sixth and final tip, and that is sheath underwear. Now, sheath is the sponsor for this video because they have pioneered the greatest underwear that money can buy, from their bamboo cooling mesh to their dual pouch design to separate your twig and your biscuits from sticking together and to the side of your leg. And it is as simple as that because they are built to last, and you can get a pair right now with the code TRAVSUCKS, and that code will get you 20% off when you visit the first link in the video description at sheathunderwear.com. Again, this is the best underwear money can buy. You will not have your twig and your biscuits sticking to the side of your leg, and I cannot thank sheath underwear enough for sponsoring this video. So this is my best tips, tricks, and goalie hacks. Did I miss one? Do you have anything better? If you do, please leave in the comments section because I would love to hear from you. If you have any questions or need to reach me for any reason, you can do so here on Instagram or on my podcast, Singing the Biscuit. I want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I look forward to hearing your goalie hacks and seeing you in the future video. And until then, 
I'll see you next time.